Oh, you just set it up. I did. We're going. We're going. <laughs> Hello, my name is Errol. I'm Willis. Did you want to start first? Because it is witless and Errol. If you want to actually talk during this review, yeah. you can do the talking. We'll talk it doesn't have to be me. Because it always seems that it's like me all the time. Yeah, exactly. And so what we should do is uh, you can start and then we can talk because we're going to do a review. Sure, you, you, could, you know. Go! I'm witless! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I'm witless. And I'm still Errol. You're still Errol. We are going to be talking about... Yeah... So Errol came over the other night to my place. Uh, cause me. We were thinking what will we possibly dis discuss next in terms of games, and I had that one coming in the mail, so... And I didn't know that, right? I don't even know you get these things in the mail. Yeah, like, how do you get it? Is uh, there some sort of, like, Flickster for what, or whatever? What game do you get access. This? That's game what it's access? called. Game access? Yeah. And so, they just send you games. Yeah. We got, so we got Jurassic Park. Arrow came over and yes. played it. It's cool. She went and she she went on without waiting. But that's okay, actually. I actually have never... I ever, waited for you. Because yep. you have an Xbox, right? I have an Xbox now. How, when did you get your Xbox? Uh, when my sister decided to give it to me just before Christmas. Nice! Yeah. So we can play Xbox. Yet. I do not have an up-to-date console. The latest console I have is a PS2. Lame. Yes. Um, so oh, you know, have you played the PS2? It's a lot of fun. I'm going through Kingdom Hearts with my girls. It's I'm sure it's fun. fun. I don't need a PS2 to be happy. There you go. See, well, really? Why? What do you need to be happy other than men? <laughs> A PS3. <laughs> oh, do you want a PS3 as well? Yes. You can get your boy to buy you one. Or you can bring his over. Um, this is hot. I don't know that, right? <laughs> we can talk about you, Manda. No, we're going to talk about we, the game. Well, we can talk about your skills as an so actress. Jurassic Park, this game you're is... Good. You're a good actress. Have you ever, if, if you don't know, Manda is an actress, so it's really exciting being involved in anything with her because she's good at acting and she's really good at what she's done. She's done a lot of plays and I've seen a few of them and I wanted to see but the last actually one. actually here <laughs> and you wanted to see the last one. I did. I did want to see your Bill and Ted on their excellent adventure one. We can't talk about the game now. We are going to talk about the game and you. So Jurassic Park, uh, it's made by Telltale Games, which Telltale. I don't know if you, um, if anyone's ever played, uh, but they made, um, they made the Sam and Max game, uh, Back to the Future games, they made the Strong Bad game, so... Strong Bad has a game? I didn't even know that. Oh, they made all of those games, so they have a they have a pretty good rap, so I got excited when I saw the Jurassic Park one, because, uh, were you a fan of the movie? Did you like the movie when it I came did. out? I did! When it first came out, I, yeah. well, I, it was, I was in the theaters, right? It's the first time I've seen realistic, non-animatronics kind of thing. Yeah. But of course, I am a huge fan of Ray Harryhausen. And it still looks good now! It does. It really holds up now. So I was, I was kind of curious. Ray about Harryhausen the game. is like the god of stop motion animation. So if you remember any of the old Sinbad movies, you know, with the skeletons or oh like the, yeah, or Clash, like the, the original uh, Clash of the Titans, not the latest one, the original one. Have you ever seen it? The game. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. it starts. It starts after the first movie. In no, fact, it's during, during the first, first movie. movie. Yeah. Um, and if you remember, Newman, whatever his name is, the big guy. Nedry. Dennis Nedry. Dennis Nedry. This has is where to, I do the research. Yes, and he has to go talks. and drop off the thing. Embryos. And then, the embryos. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what Errol is? Errol is a mad limbs. <laughs> <laughs> but then his car gets stuck and he dies in the tree and then his face gets eaten. So where the game kind of picks up is... You're the one that had to pick up the embryos. Yeah, so you're a character that originally wanted the embryos. Well, not your character, because you play multiple characters. Oh yeah, you play multiple characters. Well, yeah. one of, anyway, it yeah. starts out with this character who was hired to pick up the embryos, and of course Nedry isn't at the boat, so they go into the jungle. But the funny thing right. is, it really starts off with, is with the, you're this girl, and you're running through the forest, and you're being chased <laughs> with dinosaurs. So this is where, like, kind of the first, um, this is where the mechanics of the game really affect uh, pretty much everything that, that you do, because, um... The mechanics are like... They're quick time events. They're like dragon slayer. you're kind of thrown into this situation in the game. So the game starts off, you're running from dinosaurs, and it's all very tense and exciting and everything, but the thing is, I just got this Xbox, as mentioned earlier, and I haven't bothered learning the controls for yeah, it yet. No. So if you don't know the Xbox controls, or whatever console you're playing this on, 
you're doomed right from the start because uh, the it'll, was doomed there we were running in it and quick time events for those of you who don't know um, it's basically instead of actually or if you don't know what Dragon's Lair is right uh, it's basically um, a series of prompts so instead of say like running to something and fighting it yourself he was uh, trying to go up against Disney Don Bluth and he did a whole act thing like you know the secret of Nim remember Yes. yes. Don Bluth is a god. Yes. I will acknowledge that so. another time. <laughs> <laughs> so the plot of the game is basically you're there for these embryos and um, the beginning plot. at the beginning plot. And of course, of course, you get stuck on the island. Horse and there are the other horse. characters around. There's a dad who there's an employee of Jurassic Park who was there in with Jen, right? his daughter, because you can't have a Jurassic Park no, movie no. without a child in it. And Okay, so yeah, the quick time events, it's, it actually reminds me of, um, the whole game is like that. It the is, the whole game is like game. that. So what it really reminded me of was Heavy Rain, which was another game that came out. You know, it was quick time events, but the difference with that one was that you were still able to move your character around. So you had a lot more control. This one... Whatever you're doing, it's a quick time event. It's more of an interactive movie than it is a game. I think mm -hmm. people were thrown off by that because I, I saw initial reviews or people saying that it wasn't that great. And I think, again... Because you're not really solving anything. No. You can die and you can die often, which we yes. did quite spectacularly. And you start off in gold level. So they have, yeah, the way they measure it and is... And every time you die, it goes down one until you get to bronze, until nothing level. Until nothing. So we like... got nothing level a There's lot. this little medallion Actually, in the corner. She, did. she got nothing level. <laughs> in the second tier. Do you know what I mean? When I was in elementary school, would we do like those end of the year, like... I don't know, play day things where you had all play these... Play dates? Play day. Play day! That's what it's called. I like called. play dates. Anyway, when you get, like, ribbons... This is the end of... Oh! Oh! Oh, you mean, like, okay, yes, yeah. yes. So, like, when you get... You go out and you do all these little events and you get ribbons and it's like, there's the ribbon... Like track and field day. There's, like, first place, second place... Yeah, track and field day. Track and field. Third place. And then there's the ribbon that's, I participated in this event. And yeah. that was kind of what playing this game was like. Do you get a lot of judgment, Manda? I'm sorry. I'm not judging you. You're my friend. Madden is my friend. She lets me play games. <laughs> he comes over at 10.30 at night to play games. Is that too late? <laughs> you didn't play. No, then she continued gaming without me. Also, Actually, I didn't really mind. Because yeah. sadly, you know, I, I played Dragon Slayer way back in the 80s when yeah. it came out. And it wasn't really all... I mean, it's like, it really was just about, about memorizing things. Yes, you could mm -hmm. watch and look for the... For the where they're trying to go, and same thing with Space Ace as well, right? Mm. Actually, that reminded me. They did another game afterwards called um, Thayer's Quest, which is really cool because it was like an adventure game, just done by the same guys like Don Bluth or whoever did it. And they had a little keypad, and what you would do is that you would have to press the different things, like if you wanted to go east or west, and if you wanted to pick up or use a diamond, and all the keys had the special symbol of all the things you could use. It was really neat. It was like an adventure game as an arcade game. I don't think it's it did crazy. really well. I'm just, I'm just in here to see how long it can go. I'm just like, what? that was a cool game. I really like Thayer's Quest, where this and I would always get stuck at this part where there's these cats. I'm just wondering if it'll loop around eventually. And anyway, we were talking about Dragon's Lair, and you had to memorize it basically if you really wanted to solve well, it. Well, it kind of got like that with Jurassic Park too. Yeah. yeah. When, when I was trying to avoid the Triceratops and the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh God! And the stupid. It was okay. Awful! I kept on dying. Most of the quick time events I could deal with. When it's like press a button or hold yeah. a button, I can deal with that. Oh, but then yes. there was this stupid freaking radar that, okay, or like every time there was a part where you had to stay, keep steady something or keep still so that the T-Rex wouldn't eat you. Well, or, or you had to put in a hypodermic needle. Oh yeah, the hypodermic needle. This radar would pop up and, uh, and it would have this little circle bouncing around, and you had to try and get the circle. So there's this character, and she's uh, having a, conf a fit. She's um, seizuring, yeah, right? And yeah. so he, she has to uh, put a needle in her arm. And so, uh, and then if she doesn't, then thing, bad things happen. So yeah. she's trying, and then of course there's Tyrannosaurus Rex going <laughs> behind you so, while you're trying to put in this needle. So, you so have I was to giving her helpful advice. Go! Go! <laughs> you can do it! It was the most aggravating part of the game, and when after you left and I played some more of it, 
It was when you had to stay still for a T-Rex. Oh. Like, so you had to stand like perfectly still, and this stupid thing is bouncing around, and I couldn't get it, and then the T-Rex would eat my head, and then I'd have to nice. do it again. Uh, there was one part where uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex is almost going to eat the daughter, yeah. and the dad has a tranquilizer <laughs> gun. Oh, <laughs> Rex. And so, and you have to do like a sequence of the same... Uh, you have to load the gun with gun, the same, like, blah. pull back on L, press B, and then R, and then B, shoot. and then shoot. As the dinosaur's trying, almost gonna eat, and every time you shoot, then he goes back and doesn't eat the daughter. So it was, it was like, all tense, it was fun. Do it, man, now! Shoot it! Yeah, shoot the say, dinosaur, you can do it! Cock that gun! <laughs> I'm enjoying it. I don't think I enjoyed as much as Heavy Rain or, or uh, Indigo Prophecy as the other. It was fun to watch, yeah. but I would admit that since I'm not a huge fan, I mean, I like adventure games. Mm -hmm. I like actually trying to solve some puzzles. After a yeah. while, I wasn't really paying attention to what the daughter and the, the, the dad were talking about. Oh, uh, you know what? I got bored with their characters yeah. really fast. They're just sitting like... and they're trying to like you know engage, you, get you. And I, I know, felt like the daughter was wisecracking just a bit too much. Uh, for someone who just almost got eaten by a T-Rex. Yeah. Like, every, she'd be, like, screaming and crying and, and like, shell shocked. Then she'd be like, hope I never run into a T-Rex again. And you're like, there's a point where you can kill a raptor barehanded. Oh, wow. Realistic. That's, that, that was pretty tense because suddenly, like, all these buttons popped up at the same time. You had to press them all before... How so, do you win against a raptor? It's got claws. If, only if you're a mercenary guy who's big and burly and doesn't uh, say a whole lot. Okay. He's one of those. He was like. But it still has claws. Still. So did you have you have even if you have both of its clawy hands? How does his mouth not chaw your face off? You have Jeez. a knife. Or you have a knife. Well, yeah. where are you holding that? I mean, how do you, you like? What is his hands like when you hold his neck, for example? Is that his little? Well, again, claws? I, was, I was too busy watching the buttons. <laughs> I don't understand how you survive against a raptor because every part of it can kill you. You have to be, I don't know, you have to be, like I said, the strong silent type. And you're not, not no, silent not me. anyway. No, you would walk into Jurassic Park. Yeah, I would like, die. A I'd raptor! <laughs> and any kind of survival, whether it be zombies, whether it be raptors, whether it be the end of the world, I'm going to die. I actually, I probably wouldn't buy this one. And I'm a fan of Telltale games. Yeah. I'd say check out their other games for sure. Uh, the Back to the Future one is awesome. Um, and hey, they did. They also did um, Waltz and Gromit. That was a fun one. <laughs> Getting back to stop motion animation. See how it all comes back to. I didn't know when we started talking about stuff. Oh, oh, way back at the beginning. The beginning. Yeah. So it does circle around. Yeah, see, <laughs> do circle I, around. I, I, we scripted that. <laughs> I want to make a graph for your conversation. <laughs> you bring it back. You do a good job of giving us structure. Thank you, man. Is... And she's a good actress. And, or do you call yourself actors now? Because you don't want to, they don't use the word Actor, actress anymore. Actor's good. She's going to be in a new yes. one, actually, where she's going to be, what is it called? The Elephant Man. And she's she's playing some woman. I'm playing an actress. <laughs> are you really? Yeah. An actress? Why are you calling her an actress now? Because it's the 19th century. See, it's all so confusing. <laughs> I'm playing like the Angelina Jolie of the 19th century. So, so can you just show us a part? What do you have to no. say? I can pretend to no. be the other person. No. Okay, she's good though. You should check her out. And her, and, her, and her witless letters too. Actually, which would be on this YouTube channel. You hate it when I talk about you, don't you? <laughs> I really like Heavy Rain. Check that game out. That's awesome. And okay. Indigo Prophecy. That that's that's a quick time event movie done game done well. That's awesome. We can see what Lee thinks. Do you think he'd have an opinion on this? Oh no, yeah, he wants to. But we're to. gonna ask him anyway. All right. Well, Leaf, what do you think? Because Leaf watches this, I think. We actually only include him so he. We'll watch it. We need to yeah. get somebody watching these things. Hello, people! Oh, watch Amanda because she's good. Us. She's an actor. Thespian. Bye! Thanks for watching. Join Bye. us next week because I think we're going to do L.A. Confidential. Noir. L.A. Noir. Which is a really cool game. It's a cool game. Yes. We're playing it right now. She's playing it. I'm hoping going to be playing more of it. See ya. See Bye. -bye. Ya. Stop that one.